Hey guys, thanks for coming back. This is part two of how to build a great audio system by understanding the audio frequency range. I'm going to cover component systems in here. And a component system is generally um, parts that are placed together, <clears throat> strategically placed together, and they need to be tuned and they will produce pretty much the entire sound spectrum that you're after. Now, um, if you, I hope you guys took the time. If you haven't reviewed part one, you should really go back and review that because um, I'm going to leave out. A, I'm going to try and skip a lot and not duplicate that information as much as possible. Okay, let me jump in here and show you guys a few things. All righty. Again, really quick, like we process sound from 20 to 20,000 hertz, and here we've got a mid to high end audio upgrade. This is not a whole ultra high end. This is for a middle of the road to a really nice uh, high end system. An ultra high end system would probably have one more driver called the mid bass driver. But this system right here will satisfy about 95, 97% of the folks out there. The reason I know this is I've personally helped build and install a number of these systems for folks and I get great feedback. Um, we like to recommend Image Dynamics for a lot of reasons. They're not one of the big mainstream guys and they produce very high quality systems. There's a lot of great manufacturers out there. Um, the purpose of this video is not just to make you buy our stuff. You can use these videos and put together your own system. If you don't want to spend the time, we offer package systems so uh, it'll save you guys a lot of time. And if you guys want to, if, if that's something you guys are interested in, um, check out the forums and you'll see where a lot of people are using our stuff. Okay, let me jump back in here. <clears throat> All right, here we've got a subwoofer, a mid range speaker, and a tweeter. And the purpose of a subwoofer is to produce, effectively produce, <clears throat> this part of the sound frequency range. From this point to this point, the subwoofer oops, provides approximately 20 to 80 hertz. This isn't exact. These are just roundabout numbers. But it's just to give you guys a good idea. And then what happens is we have what's called a crossover point. A crossover means that the, the mid-range is going to take over from this point all the way to this point. And then there's another crossover. And then the tweeter takes over from here to here. Later on in some other sections, we're going to teach you how to tune these to where your subwoofer is only producing this amount of sound. If you improperly tune your subwoofer, it, it'll be producing sound that it's not supposed to, and you're not going to get the full effect of your sound system. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Okay, I'm going to go into a little more detail here, and I hope you guys don't mind. A subwoofer creates very large sound waves. I know this is terrible drawing, but bear with me. These are very large. And that's that deep boom or that deep uh, thundery sound. And a lot of people, unfortunately, a lot of people equate subwoofers with competition systems that have 20 subs. And that's just not the case. A quality sound system will always need a real subwoofer. <clears throat> um, I, I don't want to mention any names, but a lot of those little canned subs, I, I go on eBay and see how many of them are for sale. A lot of people start out with those and then end up going to a real subwoofer. Again, this is to try and help you to, from rebuying or buying uh, multiple times. If you plan ahead, you can do this in pieces if your budget doesn't allow. And that way you don't have to rebuy and then um, start over in some cases. But let me jump back in here. So your subwoofer creates these very large sound waves. And realistically, your ears cannot localize, or in other words, they can't tell where this sound range is coming from. You feel the, you feel a lot of this. You can obviously hear it, but your ears generally can't tell where it's coming from. So subwoofer placement is not nearly as important as your mid-range and your tweeters. So your mid-range speakers produce smaller sound waves and more of them. And they are, and they, it's important because these are directional as your ears um, really need to be in a place where they can pick up those sound waves. And the, the easiest way to, to understand this is if you're listening to a car stereo or if you're listening to speakers, if you stand behind the speaker box, you'll lose a lot of that fidelity. I mean, I know it's obvious, but in a subwoofer, you can be standing anywhere and it doesn't matter. I just want you guys to understand that. 
Now tweeters are extremely important because this sound wave is so tiny and there's so many of them. They're extremely directional, even more so than mid bass. So placement of your tweeters is extremely important as well because your ears need to be able to, uh, it, it needs to be in a place where it will almost traject directly into your ear. And that's what's, uh, uh, how do I say this? That's why placement of your mid-range and your tweeters is extremely important when you're, when you're building your system. Now, all these parts and pieces effectively create the entire sound range. Now, as we spoke earlier, the um, full range speakers can't produce this sound. And then to go a step further, a lot of times I see people, you can buy all this same gear, but if you don't tune it properly, this will sound, this will sound, you know, be down here, this will be up here, this will be down here, and your sound is just going to be, it's just not going to be what you're looking for. So in later videos, we're going to show you how to tune this system. We're going to show you how to set the crossovers. We're going to show you how and uh, what a high pass filter is, what a low pass filter. And I, I don't want to confuse you guys, but it's really not that hard. If you can understand this basic concept here, I, I promise you'll be able to pick up the rest of it. Um, take a few minutes, go through these videos, understand the importance of the audio frequency range. And then as we get into building the systems, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to understand and you guys will be able to build some quality sound systems. I really hope this helps you guys out. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions on these, feel free to post them on YouTube. We'll try and update the pages and or update the videos. And we appreciate you guys listening.